Now we're following breaking news where multiple people were shot at a New York City subway station. It all happened during morning rush hour at the 36th Street subway station in Brooklyn this morning. Police and firefighters arrived to find multiple people injured as well as undetonated explosive devices. Now, two schools in the area are being told to shelter in place while police search for a suspect. NBC News correspondent Von Hillier joins us now from Brooklyn. Well, in the studio. Uh, Vaughn, what do we know at this point? What is law enforcement saying about that search for a suspect? Right, Morgan, we've been following this closely, and several of our colleagues are just now making it here to the site. I mean, this is a big perimeter that has been set up here, in large part because we still do not know where this suspect is at this time. And for those who are not familiar, as familiar with New York, these boroughs, Brooklyn, Manhattan, Queens, are very interconnected. And we're talking about a clearly planned event in which at least one individual, authorities believe here at this time, uh, was inside of a subway that was making its way into this Brooklyn stop when apparently detonated some sort of a smoke, uh, smoking device, a smoke grenade, smoke bomb, which filled uh, at least one subway car. That is when the individual is believed to have then fired multiple shots. We now know that there are at least 13 injured, five individuals who were shot two who were in serious condition. And we are just beginning to get some of these videos that have been posted on social media platforms into our system, and we are working our way through them right now. But I can tell you that what these videos are so far showing is a situation in which this subway vehicle pulled into the station, and that is when you see smoke begin to billow out of the via out of this subway vehicle, and multiple individuals hobbling out. The videos are tough to watch, and that is why we are working our way through them right now, because you see individuals with gunshot wounds, particularly uh, in the lower half of their bodies. Uh, there is blood. There are individuals that are falling onto the subway platform. And that is when, though, at the same time, it's not clear where this suspect is. We believe this individual from authorities to be anywhere from five foot five to five foot seven, uh, a black male uh, who may have been wearing an orange-like vest, may have had a gas mask, either wearing it or in his hands at the time. But you do not see him pictured in any of the videos that we have seen here at this time. But again, that is when uh, the scene was chaotic and individuals trying to help out one another. But importantly, there's still an individual who is believed to be on the loose. Again, this is in the heart of Brooklyn, a very diverse uh, residential and business uh, uh, part of Brooklyn here. Uh, and a, a cause for serious concern, of course. Uh, nobody has been, no confirmed fatalities at this time here, but still uh, several serious injuries. Morgan? Vaughn, let's be clear. This is any New Yorker's worst nightmare. I mean, people use the subway system. For those who aren't familiar with New York, it is, if not the main, a main mode of transportation. You can usually get anywhere in the city, usually a little bit faster via subway than even right. by car. So what's happening right now? I mean, are there people who are still stuck in the tunnels as a result of this? We know that several subway stations are closed. This was the NDR uh, uh, trains. This was specifically an N train that came in. We know that there are a couple Manhattan uh, subway stops that are closed as well here. But you're absolutely right. I think it's clear, right, during the pandemic, uh, New York City did quiet down to a certain extent. But New York is very much back here. This was at around 8.30 a.m. at the height of a rush hour here. Again, this is there are schools in this area. There are businesses, res residential areas around this neighborhood here. Uh, this was uh, at, at peak hours. And you see from this video here uh, a, a large perimeter that has been set up uh, in large part, again, just because of the threat that continues to be posed here to the neighborhood at large, not just in Brooklyn, Morgan, but you know, again, it is not difficult to get from Queens to Manhattan up to the Bronx from uh, this part of Brooklyn here. And that is why there are so many law enforcement personnel and why this investigation is so serious. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.